Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here, and in this video, as requested, we're going to be looking at the Catalyst proprietary Linux driver against the Radeon open source driver. FPS Max is set to 1000, so we're now capped at 300. And the freeze cam is disabled so that we won't be skewing the average frame rate. So let's go ahead and see how the Catalyst Linux driver performs against the Radeon open source driver. Starting right off the bat, we're going with 1080p maximum settings, and we're seeing on average a 2 frames per second difference which is practically negligible, negligible. So it's pretty impressive, the Radeon driver and Catalyst driver are neck to neck here at maximum 1080p settings. So when we turn off all the settings and leave it at 1080p, we're looking at a 26 frames per second difference on average with the Catalyst drivers leading. That is a considerable uh, lead but not by much, 26 FPS can give quite a boost. So what happens if we reduce the resolution as well? So at maximum settings, 720p, we're only seeing about 13 frames per second difference on average, which is small with the Catalyst drivers leading. So lower settings, the Catalyst driver is increasing in performance, but with everything set on, it's not that high. So with minimum settings at 720p, we're looking at probably the highest difference on average here, which is 45 frames per second difference. This is large. So if you really wanted to push the limits and get absolute maximum frames, you'd do this. So this part of the video is showcasing it at 1080p maximum settings side by side so that you can see for yourself the results that I'm getting in real time. So on the left is Catalyst 15.3 and on the right is the Radeon drivers, both the absolute latest that I can get my hands on right now. And as you can see, as we saw in the early results at 1080p maximum settings, they're pretty much neck to neck here. Now I disabled the freeze cam because the freeze cam is simply one frame being rendered over a period of time and that would uh, artificially increase the average making you think you're getting 100 200 frames per second when really it's not rendering the scene it's just rendering one image doesn't really make a difference so consistently throughout this we're seeing moving images being rendered on a continuous time frame and it is pretty much neck to neck here with a two frames per second difference at any given time very impressive what the Radeon drivers have managed to achieve now. I'm hoping they can surpass this and bring us closer to the Windows performance. So we've completed the test and we've got some pretty interesting results to be seen. At 1080p max with everything pushed to the maximum, the drivers are neck to neck. The Radeon and Catalyst drivers practically see the same frames per second. So at least in the case of CSGO, regardless of which driver you're using, you're going to be in pretty good hands. That does beg the question though, when we reduce the settings and we reduce the resolution, for some reason the Radeon driver seems to fall behind a bit. So I'm pretty curious why that happens when at the max settings they're both neck to neck. What's more interesting though is that now that the Radeon driver is so close to the Catalyst performance, we may see a year from now that the Radeon driver surpasses the Catalyst performance, at least in the case of CSGO. So that is it for the results of this test. Are you interested in seeing more? I am thinking of doing Dota 2 or TF2 in this user case. Are you interested in seeing it? Let me know in the comments below. I hope this video was useful or educational to you in one way or another, and thank you for watching.